Hello, and welcome back to part two of my first time seller series. If you haven't yet met, I'm Bianca Geddes, your local Denver realtor. And last week I started a three part series for those first time sellers looking to sell their very first property this year. And last week we touched a bit on the process of selling your home. And so today I wanted to elaborate on one of those steps which is deciding how you want to sell your home, whether that be through for sale by owner, selling to an investor, um, hiring an agent, or even using companies like Zillow or Open Door. And today I wanted to compare and contrast to specifically the for sale by owner option, which is a FISBO, as well as hiring an agent and give you a few things to consider um, when making the decision of which route is best for you. So let's get going. So I will say um, with a for sale by owner, um, there is a lot more to the process. And typically from a real estate perspective, we see um, sellers decide to go the FISBO route mainly because of the savings that they think that they're getting with commissions. And it's a lot more to it than that. And so I really wanted to um, give you a few things that you'll want to think about before deciding whether or not you want to go down that route. Now, with a for sale by owner, you are essentially in control of the entire process from start to finish. And that is because you um, don't have someone there to do the heavy lifting. And so with a for sale by owner, um, you are going to be responsible for overseeing the entire transaction process. And so I would say one of the biggest things that you'll want to consider is you'll wanna ask yourself, what benefit is there for me to sell my own home instead of hiring an agent other than the savings on the commissions? And let me give you a little pro tip here. With your commissions, typically we see sellers pay for both commissions for the seller's agent as well as the buyer's agent. And so yes, if you decide to go the FISBO route, you are saving a little bit of money by, um, not hiring a seller's agent to sell your home. However, there is still the buyer's agent that will need to be paid. And so making sure that you have a plan in place for the buyer's agent and how they're going to get paid. And I'll tell you, if you decide not to pay an agent, that might deter potential buyers from coming and walking through your property. So that's one question that you'll wanna ask yourself. Now, another thing you will want to consider is, are you going to be able to remove your emotions or emotional attachment to the home that you currently have in order to get it sold? And by that, I mean, if a potential buyer comes in and they don't like the finishes that you've chosen, are you going to get offended by that? Or are you going to be able to put on your professional hat and um, work through those things, work through those potential issues? Um, and then I would say the third thing that you will want to consider or ask yourself is, am I prepared for any potential legal risk that will come um, with this transaction? Because in a real estate transaction, there are a ton of paperwork involved, a lot of disclosures that you'll have to have signed. And if you misrepresent something or if you give or fail to disclose information or give wrong information, that can come back and bite you in the butt later and a buyer could potentially sue you. So be sure to ask yourself um, those three things. Now we'll give you a little fun statistic, just something to think about. Um, but stats do show that homes that are FISBO, which are for sale by owner, tend to sell for about 26% less than agent assistant homes. Now, your particular situation um, really depends on, you know, or the route that you take really depends on your particular situation. Um, however, those are some things that you want to think about. So next week, I am going to tackle um one final thing with selling your home something that i think is really important which is staging versus non-staging so be sure to tune in next week 